Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so I woke up early this morning and I'm thinking about the whole video release tomorrow. Um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna release one. It's gonna be at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So um, I'm really excited about it. This is my favorite song. Um, it means a lot to me, this one does. Uh, and as I was prepping for it and doing all these things on the computer, you know, I'm uploading it to, to YouTube and um, I'm just thinking about why and how I ever had an opportunity, you know, to, to write and record this song. I'm thinking it's really important that I share with all of you why it is that this song was even written. If you've been to an Amanda Bob Band event, then you know this story. Um... And you know this encounter. So let me backtrack and say that seven years ago, around that time, I started um, asking uh, the Lord for an encounter with him. And I, it wasn't, I would specifically ask, I want a face-to-face -face encounter with you. I want to see you face-to-face. -face. So three years I had prayed this prayer. I'm noticing that that's a pattern in my life, three years. Um, but three years I had prayed this prayer and I would, you know, I went to bed one night and had a dream. And uh, I was standing in front of this very large water fountain. I knew I was in a different country. I had never been to this place before. It looked like I was in a downtown um, atmosphere. You know, the buildings were very unique. And uh, I was about 15, 20 foot from the fountain. And I was looking at the fountain and there was this man in the fountain and he was whipping this lion and the and I knew one I knew first you know the first thing that had hit me was he's been doing this for quite a while because the lion was laying you know on its side and he just kept whipping this lion and it really irritated me so I started to yell at this gentleman and he wouldn't listen to me so I leaned into my husband who's standing um, to my left and told him, you know, you have to tell him that he has to stop. And he did. He, t he said, you know, you have to stop, quit whipping the lion. And um, the gentleman just dropped the whip in the water and just got out of the fountain, right? When he did that, I stood there for a few seconds to because I was concerned about this lion. And, uh, and this might <laughs> be the beginning of... A very life-changing experience for me. So as he's as he's exiting the fountain, I'm standing there concerned, and this lion stands up. And when he stood up, he turned his head towards me to lock eyes with me. And the other thing that I noticed is that he had no blemish. He was a pure white lion. He had the most radiating blue eyes I have ever seen in my life. I can't even describe the color to you. It's almost looks like what electricity would look like in his eyes. They were that blue. They just radiated. And he locked eyes with me and I noticed that he doesn't have a scar. He's, there's no wounds. There's nothing like, it didn't even look like he had been whipped. And he began to slowly walk out of his fountain and come after me. And I knew that I was his mission and I was terrified. I looked at this lion and I thought, if he wanted to just, if the thought, if he just thought, it's just a moment that he wanted me out, that he wanted to take me out, that he could. And he had that much power and authority. So I was really overwhelmed with fear at first. And he began to come towards me and I thought, oh my goodness, like this is it. He walked around my right side and he put his two paws, you know, here on my shoulders. And, and I thought, this is it. Like, I'll just submit to this, I guess, and dropped my head. And when I did that, he began <laughs> to love on me. And uh, I still can, I mean, I, I was so, it was so overwhelming for me to understand that he chose to love me 
and he began to take his his head you know and just each side of my face just bonding with me and telling me in that that language that I was his and he was mine and as I begin to be overwhelmed with that I remember just like leaning back in his and just taking a hold of the mane and his mane and just saying oh my gosh you're mine you're my lion and and I knew in that moment that he he made a he made a choice to not take me out you know but to to just show me how much he loved me and when I woke up from this dream or this encounter I cannot even tell you in my bedroom the presence of the Lord was so thick in my room like peace it was just this overwhelming peace in the room of course that's always stayed with me because it just showed me that you know he, he wasn't taking his eyes off of me and what I thought I knew of him uh, he would show up and and do something that would um, overwhelm me with his love and that's how it's been in my life um, you know you think you have this idea of who he is but man he just it's like it's deeper than that his his love is so much deeper than that and sometimes it's just so much more we can't comprehend how deep his love is for us um, and so when when we had the opportunity when I had the opportunity you know to to go in and and write and record music and, and things I had already had um, one song written and uh, I asked the Lord you know what would you like me to write about and immediately this dream came into my brain and uh, I got on the phone with Jake I and uh, and and we talked a, a lot about you know this you know how I wanted to write and record um, a song about this encounter and uh, and we did um, I had an awesome opportunity to write and record with Matt Hammett and Jacob Rye and uh, they really brought this this <laughs> encounter to life for me. Um, the chorus is, you know, your love is your love is like a lion. It chases me down. It pierces like a warrior's blade, but it's as gentle as a warm embrace. Um, and and what what we did in the song is just we created the whole song is you're just basically standing in what I'm seeing and what what I have felt from start to finish of, of that encounter. The cool thing is, you know, again, we think one thing, but God means, you know, he just makes a thousand different things happen out of one thing. And so the, the cool thing is, is like, you know, we write and record the song and here comes the Amanda Ball band and, and each musician is so anointed and they all put their own creative you know they use their gifts in a really creative way and they they just make their own version of the song and uh, that's what we capture in this video is like the live this is what you hear live um even when we recorded it it was live it was a live um recording but we started playing this out we our band started really playing uh my music out in june of last year and by august we were in Mexico, right? So we're in downtown Catatado, Mexico, and it's day two, and we're all kind of just walking around, and I start to see these buildings looking very familiar to me. And so I, you know, just nonchalantly ask, you know, Oscar, are there fountains around here? And he says, yeah, and as soon as he answered me, I looked over to my left and I saw this fountain. A lot of you were on Facebook Live and you saw, you know, that, that I had, I, I just went Facebook Live because it was so incredible. It was, it was such a moment for me. It was then, of course, that I realized and recognized how much deeper that this encounter was and that he had he he went before me. You know, he went to Mexico. He took me there. And he had this face-to-face -face encounter with me. Um, just details. You know, my husband being in the dream. My husband wasn't even supposed to go with me to Mexico. But here he is standing with me in Mexico, August of last year, and I'm standing at the very fountain. And I'm just like so overwhelmed. I'm 
giggling one minute and I'm just shaking and I, I don't even, I can't even explain to you. Of course, again, I'm just totally overwhelmed, you know, with how much, how good he is and how crazy he is, you know? He's just, you can't put him in a box. And so a few days later, you know, I was just in my spirit just the whole time we're in Mexico. Like, I have to sing the song at the fountain. And, uh, you know, asking Oscar, it was like, yeah, that's pretty impossible because we have to have permission and we will get arrested if we don't have permission. And once again, God would show up and give us crazy favor. I tell you, I, <laughs> I said one little prayer in the van. He pulled us right up next to the, to the water fountain. Parking there is like, mm, you can't really park there pulled up right next to it, put our hazards on. I said this one prayer. I said, God, you told me you'd give me favor as with a shield. I want your favor right now. Give us favor to be out there. And we just took our gear, walked out, walked to that fountain. And would you believe that there is a stage set up at this, at this water fountain right in front of it, actually, because they're in Ketatado, they were planning a festival. And so they set up the stage for a band. The band wasn't there. But what that provided for us was electricity. <laughs> so we could just plug in and, and start, uh, you know, singing. Of course, we did a, you know, we're, we start playing songs. And it is like 45 minutes later, we have drawn in the crowd. The police officers are even standing around there and they're uh, worshiping with us and they're just like yeah this is awesome and when we finished uh, the band that was supposed to have the stage actually was just coming back and thanked us because we were drawing in the crowd for them and uh, and so we had this opportunity not only did I have an opportunity to have a face-to-face -face encounter with Jesus um, and and be able to write this song and record this song with some of the you know best people I've, I've ever met and then have my, you know, have God form a band that would just be able to, you know, travel and, and play this song, right? Then he would just show up again and he would say, see, I, I took you to this place. I took you to this place. Years ago, I went before you and I made a way He's just, he's so good. Um, so, I'm still overwhelmed by his love. I still, when I sing this song, when we do events and I sing, I every word that I sing, I can see him. I can see the way he looked at me in the eyes. I can see the way that he walked towards me. And I can feel the way that he loved on me. And it's so powerful. And I'm telling you, if you don't know Jesus, um, my hope and my prayer is that you're seeing this right now and you're, you're, you're just feeling that. You're feeling um, his love just in this story. And, and I pray that you feel the same way um, when you listen to this song. He is so good. My hope and prayer is that you would... Submit your life to him and say yes. It is the greatest roller coaster ride I've ever been on in my entire life. It is the greatest decision I ever made. And it just further, you know, it just proves that all the years I spent running away from him. It's like this lion in the song. He will chase you down. He will. He will come after you because his love is that good. So I just pray that tomorrow, that as you watch this video, I wanted you to know the story behind it. Um, and, and, that, and that, you know, even, even now as you're listening to this and as you watch the video tomorrow, that there would be a release of dreams and visions and radical encounters with him in Jesus' name for your life. Um, <laughs> you know, I have, I have a lot of people who are dreamers and, um, I have a lot of friends that just aren't. And so I'm, 
I always tell, I always tell uh, my friends, I always tell people that I encounter, you know, when we're talking about the supernatural gifts, you know, choose to trust in the mystery of God. Don't put him in a box. Just choose to trust him. Just choose to let him love on you. And uh, it will change your life. It changed mine. So anyways, I just wanted to hop on and say that and uh, share that story with you I'm about 15 and a half minutes into this video because <laughs> I'm talking about Jesus and uh, I could go on and on and on. But um, thank you. Thank you guys so much for sharing Hold On, um, the last video that we released. Thank you so much for just sharing music and just giving us words of encouragement. Uh, tomorrow we'll release it at 5 and um, yeah just share away uh, and just be blessed I love you guys Mwah.